Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sabal Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing him continued health and happiness. And for Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pride in the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, praising the progress and development Bahrain is witnessing, praying to Allah to lift uh, this pandemic off humanity and bestow upon them health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone or held telephone calls with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah, the President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, and the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. During the calls, they exchanged Eid Al Adha greetings and good wishes, wishing their countries and their people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns of the blessed occasion. They also reviewed the deep rooted distinguished brotherly relations between Bahrain and their countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with their Majesty's Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Arab and Islamic nations, on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty the King wished them abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for their countries and their people and prayed to Allah the Almighty to lift the pandemic off humanity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged Eid Al Adha congratulatory cables with the GCC Arab Islamic and Friendly Nations leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers. In the cables, His Royal Highness wished them continued good health and great success in maneuvering challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. Southern Government uh, Prosecution Chief said that the public prosecution had received a notification from the Reformation and Rehabilitation Center indicating that an inmate who is serving a sentence in terrorist crimes that pose a threat to the kingdom's security had gone on a hunger strike and refuses to stop it. The public prosecution visited the Reformation and Rehabilitation Center, met the inmate, advised him to end his hunger strike and was informed about his statements regarding the issue. During the investigations, the inmate said that he had gone on a hunger strike following the refusal of the center's administration to allow him to contact his relatives like other inmates as well as for confiscating documents he intends to send to his family without any justifications. On the other hand, the inmate confirmed receiving the necessary health care he needs, the treatment prescribed for him and the medication dispensed to him in a proper way and on a regular basis in addition to receiving nutrients whenever he needs them. The chief prosecutor said that the public prosecution, while reviewing the call records of the inmates, found that the concerned inmate had been able to make seven private video calls between April and July this year. The Reformation and Rehabilitation Center also reported that the inmates' papers had been seized while being taken out of the prison in violation of the instructions in force in this regard. The public prosecution notified the office of the ombudsman about uh, the inmates' allegations of being prevented from contacting his relatives as well as the confiscation of his personal documents in order to follow up on the issue. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,096,309 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,032,792 had taken the second, and 112,393 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 864, with 117 recoveries and 86 registered new cases. 50 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 30 are contacts of active cases, and 6 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 